Hey everyone, welcome back. I am inundated in mail, so time for another mailbag. Let's get started. First one up is this one here, and um, yeah, this one came through a reshipping warehouse, so I'm not 100% sure um, what it is. So I put 4621, because I think that kind of matched, you know, the time and date that it came in. Uh, and if so, then there's a lot of things in here, and I, I don't know. It, it's a bother. So let's see what's actually in here. Okay, I think this is 46 So this is $46 worth of stuff. But as you'll see, um, there's quite a bit of stuff in here. So yeah, these are uh, these are these things are fairly expensive if you've uh, if you've never known them. Um, so basically, these are goosenecks. So you can have a sort of harness coming in. I wasn't expecting any of this like weird like felt stuff on it, but anyways, um, harness comes in here, and there's like slip rings on the inside, and it lets you have something spinning and something stationary connected together. Um, these were, like I said, quite expensive. So $46 for the lot. Um, there's some lower current stuff and there's some higher current stuff, but yeah, this one here, oh geez, I don't even know how many con conductors. Can you, can you guys see? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. So this is a 10 conductor seems like there are a couple of them identical here yeah so it's two of those how many conductors on this one this is also a 10 conductor this one has a differential pair though did this one have that too that one has that too okay this is another 10 conductor there's four 10 conductor ones oh look there's much smaller ones here Oh boy, look at that. So, what's the difference here? Yeah, this one... Okay, you guys can't feel this, but uh, this guy here feels a lot stiffer. Doesn't seem to spin as quickly. This guy here feels way higher quality. This looks like it was repurposed. There's some, like, glue on here where a label was. But yeah, very interesting. So, uh, let's see how big this is. So this one's about uh, 20, 20 mils across here. And about 22, 23 mils across there. So yeah, this is actually for my um, sim racing steering wheel setup. Um, and it's one of those things where it was not much more expensive to buy a whole bunch than to buy, um, you know, one of each. This one here does not feel good. It feels very, very um, scratchy. This one here, it looks like there's a bearing there and seems like, you know, seems like you can spin this fairly fast. That's pretty cool. So I'm not sure how I'm going to integrate this into my uh, system yet. But yeah, that is uh, going to be one of the things is going to, you know, somewhere this is going to go up to the steering wheel probably, and then this part here will be rotating on the inside, something like that. Cool. I've never had these to play with, so now I have them. How many conductors in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12 conductor on this one, but this one I wouldn't go very fast with. This, These guys here, a lot quicker, and I can use, you know, there's this uh, twisted pair. Oh, there's two twisted pairs, and then just regular conductors. Cool, on to the next one. Next one up is this one here, $3.87. Uh, if I try to read the description on the other side, it says, I think it says diodes, but Again, there's another sticker on top of it, so it's really hard to see. They are indeed diodes. Neat. So let's take a look here. 
I think these are photodiodes. I think they're meant for capturing light. Let's see. They look pretty cool. I'm going to zoom you in real close for this. So yeah, these are neat little um, packages. I, I think these things are used to, you know, detect luminosity. Um, and they're used, I know in the automotive world, to like turn on auto headlights and stuff like that. Uh, although we are moving away from these kinds of things, moving more towards uh, cameras, which are there for sort of uh, collision detection anyways. So they use that for, you know, uh, for checking the luminosity outside. Um, but just out of curiosity, let's see if we can use, you know, this giant multimeter and see if we can just do a voltage test. I mean, it is under the lights here. Hopefully you guys can see that screen a little bit. It's going to take most of the screen and see if I can just touch the two ends here. Yeah, look at that. Uh, it's a uh, 300 millivolts uh, DC right now just under my studio lights here. And probably if I brought something else on top. Um, so yeah, I I took a I took a gamble on these. There was uh, AliExpress had uh, like a sale uh, and they were trying to get me to spend a little bit more to get a little bit faster shipping. And so I took a look around at what I could possibly want. And yeah, I think there's uh, 20 of these in this pack. Not 100% sure what I'm going to use them for, although I do plan on putting one into uh, my environmental sort of weather sensing um, hardware. So that could be pretty interesting in that location. Next one up is this one here, $8.85. And I have no idea what's inside here. Um, probably did know when I uh, looked up the price, but that's been a while. Oh. Very interesting. These are um, illumination lights for uh, cars. Actually, there's got to be a couple of these. Maybe I'll go and see if I can feel around for them. But yeah, these are meant to light up your dashboard and stuff. Um, my Volvo has a couple of these bulbs burnt out. And I think I got 10 here. Oh, look, there's two different kinds in here. So there's these little guys. And these bigger ones, I'll put the names down here because I don't actually remember what their um, their sizes are. Um, but buying this many online was cheaper than buying uh, two locally. So let's put uh, 12 volts. Is that current limited? No. So how come this is so dim? Doesn't seem very bright. Is it just supposed to be lit that dim? Not sure. These are the uh, old school type incandescent. Um, there's some electronics in my Volvo that are um, sensitive to current, so. I'm not 100% sure if it would have been a good idea to get the LED ones because the uh, the computer may have complained. So that's pretty neat there. Let's see if I can try one of the uh, bigger ones. Uh, smaller ones, I should say. So these guys are a lot smaller. Oh, that one is a lot whiter. The light on this is a lot brighter. I mean, they're both working at 12 volts. Um, this one here is a quarter watt. I think the other one was a little bit um, less than that. 
But yeah, they seem to work just fine. And these are the kinds where the um, sort of like the base here, it goes in and then it clicks around. You just turn it a quarter turn. So that's pretty neat. But yeah, these things are far cheaper to buy online before you need them than to buy them at the dealership, for example. Um, I think each one of these bulbs is about six dollars. Uh, and if you saw, I got the two kinds uh, of ten of each, and they were like nine dollars. So big freaking difference here. Next one up here is actually a tool, but it's an electronics tool, or at least electronics adjacent tool. So I treated myself to this, uh, you know, $31. It ain't cheap, uh, but I am a big fan of Unity, the brand. And so I decided that this one was worth it. Um, in my industry and also doing some electronic things, um, I often want to take um, temperature measurements, but more than one at a time. And this one here should allow me to do that. So it's basically a, a temperature gauge or sort of like a thermocouple unit that'll allow me to take two temperatures at the same time. And what's cool is that you can actually have a one button press to get the delta to tell the difference between the temperatures of the two probes. So it seems like it takes um, K or J type thermocouples. Wow, this thing is tiny. That's good though. I kind of want just a little, you know, section of uh, of my um, filming real estate to be taken up by this, and not a giant section. Sort of like that. And does this need batteries? I guess it does need batteries. Oh, triple A's. Oh, that's a fail. I don't like using triple A's for that. Uh, let me grab some batteries. All right, got my uh, rechargeables loaded up here. These are just um, these uh, cheapy Amazon uh, rechargeable cells that I have not done tests on yet, these Power Owl ones. And let's turn it on and see what happens. Okay, that's good. Uh, now, it says K-type right off the bat. Is this a K-type? Yes, it is a K-type. Ooh, instead of giving you a uh, twist tie, you get a, looks like a piece of solid core wire. Interesting. All right, so uh, these should just plug in, yeah, T1. Never sure which way they go. Ooh. My God, that's stiff. It's one, ah, already 25.5 showing on the screen. Wow, that's stiff. And 25.2. Okay, now let's see here. Uh, that's degrees Celsius. So let me just, on T2, Are my fingers colder than room temp? 15.3? Let me see if I go a little higher up on my arm. Yeah, that's a ridiculous cold. Okay. And now the cool feature, T1 minus T2. And so we've got the delta. So there's the difference between the two probes. And if I warm up this probe, or cool down this probe, I should say. There we go, the difference drops. So yeah, this is why I wanted this thing. Um, I think it can be a, lot, a little bit nicer uh, to show you guys what's going on when I do heating and cooling experiments. Uh, winter is coming, and I have some uh, tech modules, some uh, thermoelectric coolers. And so, yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I have in store for that. And even better, this delta function is tell, like I've let go of the probes, now the delta function is telling me that the both probes found their way back to neutral pretty quickly. So yeah, pretty neat. And last but not least, we've got this one here, uh, labeled T. So this is a tool of some sort. So I tried to um, do the electronic-y things at the beginning. 
and the tool type things towards the end. What the heck is go- That's not a tool at all. Oh my god, this was a mistake. <laughs> These are neodymium magnets. But I could swear this is not the size I ordered. No, not at all. These are 14 mil by 5 mil by 3 mil? Yeah, these are tiny, but they're supposed to be super strong. Now, okay, if you don't know anything about neodymium magnets, you got to be very careful because they're extremely powerful, and if you allow them to clack together, um, they will break. Yeah, there we go. You can, you can also pinch yourself really easily with them. So yeah, they're super strong, super fragile. Some of them are already chipped. Um, I thought it was getting so, oh. yeah, I got to be careful because as you can see, you can uh, affect them over quite a distance. So yeah, I bought these uh, because I wanted to turn an alternator, car alternator into a permanent magnet generator, but I could swear I wanted I ordered bigger ones than this because um, I paid a lot of money. Actually, 660 is not as much as I as I thought, but yeah, I need to double check that. Yes, yeah, so it seems I've made a mistake. So these are the size that I have ordered. Um, that's sad. I needed them like double the size. Maybe you could just put two together, sort of like. Oh. Sort of like, yeah, <laughs> try not to let them clack together. Sort of like this, and maybe that'll work. But, yeah, either way, I'm going to use these in experimentation. They're here now. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to get some really big uh, neodymium magnets. They're just extremely expensive. So maybe I'll just get some on Amazon for my eventual project. Uh, and then at least if they turn out wrong, I can just send them back. Next one up is this one here, $2.71. Again, no idea what's inside. Oh, some more light bulbs. These are T5 wedge bulbs. Uh, these work absolutely fantastically uh, to be little loads in your electronics projects. They're incredibly cheap. I mean, three bucks for uh, 10 of them here, but I think you can get them even cheaper. Like I saw some like one, like a hundred of them for uh, very little money. So yeah, if you need a lot of uh, little loads and stuff, these things work phenomenally and they're also uh, automotive. So they're, you know, 12 to 14 volt. And there you go. Get a little light. So yeah, this is, um, Think of this uh, in electronics as a 5 watt resistor. That's about what it is, 4.5 watt. Uh, and I mean, for a 5 watt resistor, this is pretty cheap and it puts out some light. So, you know, when you're teaching people circuits and stuff, you have something tangible to show them when it's on. So, yeah, that's what these were bought for. That, and I can uh, stuff them in my car too because uh, my car uses T5 wedge bulbs too. So yeah, good way to get a nice, cheap little resistor that uh, lights up. And so that's it for this episode of Mailbag. Like always, thank you very much to my Patreon patrons uh, for your unwavering support. Um, it's without the Patreon patrons that I wouldn't feel comfortable, you know, ordering uh, expensive parts to do cool projects uh, like these things. Um, and uh, for my viewers, make sure you just uh, keep uh, hitting that like and uh, sharing the videos where you see fit. Let me know in the comments below which ones of these is the most interesting. Thanks for watching.